So, uh, here I am during the escape of Doodle Woods, and, uh, turns out I was right. I have a save state back here, but yeah, you keep rolling like that, and then just ignore all this crap, and, and there's the CD. So, there you go. Uh, now cut to relevant material. Okay, I did some, uh, tire walking off screen, got some coins. So, time to feist the air rodent, or whatever it was called. But first, I'm gonna buy a bugle. I guess. I actually know the weakness for this one is the lips, because someone in the comments said it, but... I'm not gonna use that, because... I just am not going to. People say this is a tough one, though, so let's hope for the best here. So, we've got a ghost mouse and a big teddy bear with the Millennium Eye. Okay, then. What the hell? I was I was expecting it to go like... And like, I don't know. Okay, so what do we do with this boss? It inflates awkwardly, and... Now what? Uh, here's a weird flying dude. I think I might see what I'm supposed to do here. They kind of launch up. I have to... Oh, I throw it up. Okay. I gotcha. Did that hurt it, or did that just deflate it? Then I do that, then I hit the mouse. Okay. Several times. I can do it. I can do it nine times. So, this doesn't seem half bad. I just got... I mean, I'm sure it's gonna develop a more difficult pattern, given enough time, but at least I figured out what to do. Oh, jeez. Okay, don't get burned. I forgot I had to hit the foot. Don't get stung either. Unless that gives me the balloon power, but I don't want the balloon power anyway, so... Yeah, don't get stung. Hit you. Hit you again. Maybe I'm just good at figuring out the hard things and bad at figuring out the easy things. That or this boss gets a lot worse. Or both. Or bulls, because that was a level in Star Fox 64. Which is totally relevant. I'm hopping, like, all over the place, and I don't know why. Um, I'm always worried about losing those treasure chests. I think it only affects the ending, but I still want to get them all. So, if I fail at the boss fight, um, I might just go back to my last save state, refight it off screen. You don't need to see me do it again. Okay, I would have liked to hit that thing again, but alas, I did not. So, keep fighting this thing before I have to start worrying about treasure. Maybe the treasure doesn't disappear until the timer's up. Kind of like the um, timer in the levels themselves. I don't know. So, just keep on doing the same thing. Hitting that thing in the crotch with spikes. I'm sure it is not too happy about me doing that, although it is a teddy bear, so... I don't think it has anything down there. Why am I discussing these things? Then again, Mr. Patch dead. Oh, oh come on! That was not fair in the slightest. Getting quite irritated with this boss. I am not going to be able to beat it in time because I suck. Come on, hit the foot. Dodge the fire. Hit the mouse. Hit the mouse again. No, not hit the mouse. I still have to hit it five times. How am I going to hit it five times in one minute? Oh, great. Especially if I miss. Oh, man, there goes the first treasure. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to refight this one off screen. But let's see how well I can do. Not ooh, that that was that was good. So I might still have to have a chance against this thing. I wonder what happens if you don't beat it in time. Do you just lose all the treasures, or does like the whole world explode? Can I get it again? Nope, I need one more. Hooray for sucking at bosses. 
People did say this was a hard one, though, so I don't feel too bad about it. So, come on, hit the foot. Oh, my God. <coughs> Can't even breathe. I guess we're going to find out what happens when you run out of time. Maybe. Go. Yep, going to find out. This is very lame. I hate that fire. Okay, so you just randomly die. Awesome. This is why save states were invented. So, redoing the majority of that fight off screen. Let's see if I can beat this thing. Got one hit, and I... Okay, I need to get one more still. I've got like 15 seconds left before that first treasure disappears. Let's hope like hell that I can do it. Come on. Okay, there's the fire. I hate the fire. Hit this, and hit that, and there we go. Had to cheat to do it because of the save state, and that kind of sucked, but... Eh. The, I'm not sure if the treasures would have reset anyway. I, uh, so maybe I just saved some grinding time. Maybe I did totally cheat, I'm not sure. But... Whatever. I've safe stated in the past anyway. So, that place is over with. Um, I actually checked and I'm missing the gold crown here, but I think I have it on every other level. I'm not sure what that does. Just for the ending, I guess. So, let's see what Crescent Moon Village is like. I don't have too much time to check it out, but I can get started. And people say that this is not as bad as the Topaz Passage, so I can hope that that's true. Already, though, we've got ghosts. Not ghosts, but ghosts. And it looks like I drop from up there eventually, or I have to somehow bring a spring power here. I'll worry about that later, I guess. And we've got crazy axe murderer jigglypuffs. No, I don't know what that thing is. And painting of Dr. Wily. Awesome. Nope, castle is complete without one. Or mansion, or whatever this place is. It's a village. Let's just assume it's a mansion. Does this burn you, or... I, th I assume it just hurts you, so I don't really want to take any chances with that. If I see fire blocks, I'll try it out. And hello. What are you doing here? Um... I assume there's something down there, but I don't... Yeah, maybe not. Okay, the ghost isn't doing anything yet. Wait, wait, what's it doing? It was doing something there. I do not know what. So, uh, let's just do something like this. And, okay, that totally failed. I was going to bounce off it to get the diamond, but I see I'm just supposed to make the green blocks appear later on, so I'll not worry about that now. And this pirate ghost is worrying me. It's going to be doing something eventually, and the fact that it hasn't done anything yet is kind of a bad sign to me. Maybe it's just there to freak you out, but I kind of doubt it. Annoying bats. No game is complete. Oh, hey, bat power. And light gets rid of the bat power. Okay. Um... There's a light here, so I wouldn't be able to take it up here anyway. Let's do something like that, except without the fail. How do you break that? I was probably supposed to throw that axe enemy into it. Crap. Can I get it to respawn? I don't know. That kind of sucks. I know what I'll have to be going back to. Um... Yeah, bat power. I am I know there's a bat power. I see that. But I want to see if I can carry this with me or something. No, probably not. Whatever. Um, so, bat power is kind of cool. Let's uh, check out this door. This looks like a whole new area. I didn't want to explore a whole new area. I was hoping it was just going to lead to, like, a gem or something. Oh, God. 
I guess the other... Wait. It did only lead to a gem, and then I jumped down, and then what happens? I mean, I guess there's only one way to find out, but... Okay. Ah. I'm progressing more than I want. I missed a thing back in the house. It looked like... I don't know. I can never tell what's the secret path and what's the regular path, especially when they're both equally easy to find out. So... It's like I'm missing stuff and it isn't even my fault, because I saw it there. Uh, that was totally pointless, okay. And, uh, crap, I'm out of time, so... I, I think I'm out of time. Close to being out of time, so next time, just more of this, and I'm gonna keep saying time.